Hey, hey, guys. Sorry, I've been sick. But I got something to show you. Are you, Are you kidding me? No. No, that's... Okay. <laughs> that's actually what I wanted to do. That ritual. I almost swore right off the bat there. Um... And it occurs to me that I should have made a sh uh, silk touch shovel. I'm really prepared, eh? Uh, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're all good. We've got plenty of time. Okay, I need level four. How about a fit? Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, we'll be fine. What? Seriously? Okay then. Enchant, and then I want efficiency. Almost got it. Almost got it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Wowzers. Hmm, I want an efficiency 5 so I can instant mine this cursed earth. Wait for it, wait for it, there. Bam, bam, bam. Shut that off. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and drop some a few things off in here. Then, um... So for future reference guys, it's a lot better if you were to um, do the ritual and immediately switch it to nighttime, or daytime rather. Because if you don't, this will be a pain in the backside. Um, because mobs will constantly spawn on it, which you don't really want at all. Wait for it, bam. Oh. Don't, I don't usually care about, um, getting cursed earth, but, really? Anyways, I wanted to get this for a future plan that I have of futureness. For example, I plan on putting a piece of cursed earth underneath the, um, skeleton spawner in the nether at least until I get um enough uh shenanigans uh whatchamacallit uh, that's actually not as bad as I thought it would be to be honest it's not that bad, bad I can easily fix that um right here alright there we go let's get rid of this crap now Alright, I want to show you something that I kind of skipped right past. I got this little... S oh, uh-oh, leg spike. Don't crash, please don't crash. Alright, I got this little setup. Um, It's just a tier 2 solar panel, which is 8 regular solar panels. Um, With the harvester collecting uh, essence berries. And then here is a little bit different. There is a planter and a harvester planting and harvesting iron, diamond, and surgis quartz crops. So I've already gotten quite a bit from here, which is brilliant. Um, and I also got a little solar farm back here for power. As far as power storage, I got this hardened energy cell and I got another hardened energy cell back there. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of iron. Okay. Where was I? Yes, um, magical crops. It's kind of where I left off last episode. I made a few more crops, as you can tell here. Um, what I need to do is I actually need to, um, get a... Uh... Uncrafting table from the twilight, so I can start uncrafting these. 
as you can see I got plenty of them and I don't need that much so that's a plus um, let's come down here and show you the botania my a little update in the botania room uh, I actually need to check on my mana so these four pools are full and these are about quarter way there but I have also filled up all these mana tablets so yeah this is fairly efficient um, I intend on probably using uh, there's something in technomancy uh, where is it this thing right here mana fabricator it what it does is it actually makes mana from RF and then there's this thing right here with the hippie dynamo it actually turns mana into RF so this could be a good source of power maybe if I set up a really uh, efficient setup even more so than this like this is efficient yeah but if I were to set up like four of these in an array or something or we even make this twice as big and set up four of them then that would be brilliant for power another thing is there's also a Essentia dynamo which is awesome because I can use magical crops or I can make an auto farm with like wheat or something like that and have the Essentia from that actually powering the Essentia Dynamo. Um, in any case, I, I wanted to do um, that ritual on cam here because I'm actually, I plan on making my wings and flying home, I'm flying out and finding a place to call home. Um, so, that is what I'll be working towards. I'll get everything all ready to do that, and I'll get back with you when I'm ready to make the wings, and I just wanted to do that on cam so you guys see it, um, in case you didn't know how to do it yourself. And then, um, this is probably going to be an exploration episode. Uh, I'll catch you guys in a little bit after I get things all set up and shenanigans, and also, you may notice by my voice that I'm still a little sick. I've been sick all week. I'm at the end of it. Um, but at the moment, I just have a little bit of a cough and my nose is a little stuffed up still. But I've been wanting to get on here and do some recording. So, yeah, sorry guys for the lack of videos. I've been sick. There's nothing I can do about it and I'm not going to record while I'm sick. So I'll talk to you guys here in a few minutes after I get everything all prepared for making the wings and maybe doing some exploration. And I'll catch you guys later. And by catch you guys later, I mean here in a few minutes for you would probably be instantly. Bye bye. Oh, hello guys. Um, yeah, sorry about lack of recordings this week. I have been sick, as I've said, as I said before. I think I said it in the last cut. I don't know. That was yesterday. Um, I couldn't record anymore yesterday because my nose just got suddenly clogged up. It's so annoying. In any case, uh, um, here's the wings. I got everything together. Um, divide by diamond. You should never do it, by the way. It's dangerous. So this is how I do it. You put these all in your 1 through 9 slot. You shift click the unstable ingots. Shift click that out of there. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There you go. Bam. There. Dragon wings. And what's nice about the, the wings is these ones, because I chose leather, they look like dragons. And they give you creative mode flight. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize I was pushed to talking. In any case, um, yeah, I'm in team speak with other people's. Uh, and what's awesome about Creative Mode Flight? No fall damage. So, uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of a fly around, um, and see if I can find a place to call home, and I'll be right back with you guys in a few moments. Um, I'm sorry for not really doing a, a lengthy video bits instead of doing a lot of little jump cuts. I just still, my throat is killing me, um, even now with the talk. And you can probably tell by my, um, voice that my nose is only a little runny now, so it's not completely clogged anymore I do have difficulty pronouncing some words still but in any case I gotta get recorded videos recorded and shenanigans so uh, I'll be back um, maybe after some exploration I'll see if I, uh, I can do oh yeah catch you guys in a few moments guys I'm actually <laughs> oh, oh a little bit of lag hold on maybe I should have waited a couple seconds uh, I am actually uh, at a possible home location check this out it's a little island with a roguelike on it, and I'm getting heck of frame rate drops right now. I don't know why. Well, it's probably because I'm above a roguelike. That could be it. Um, but check this out. This is so cool. Um, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking of 
if I build my base here, I could actually repurpose this. Like, go through the roguelike, right? And just, um, uh, words. Go through this roguelike right here and make it all... What am I trying to say here? Man. Go through the roguelike and kind of clear it out, light it up, and actually make this my base. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, as it is right now, I am 1,500 blocks away from spawn. Instead of going that direction, where Must and Lair's place is at, they went, um... Doo -doo -doo. They went... Uh, crap. Yeah, they, they went east of spawn, and I went southwest of spawn. So, Flues also went east of spawn. Uh, Boomy is also northeast of spawn, and I decided to go southwest. Um, this is a good location. I don't really care for the fact that it's actually in an ocean biome. Or rather, a plains biome. Okay, deep ocean. Okay, that was weird. But... Over here, look, spruce wood, which is one of my favorite woods because it's darkness. And if I go in that direction, another couple hundred blocks, there's actually dark oak trees, which is brilliant. What is that? I wonder if that's just unloaded chunk. In any case, yes, I thought about maybe setting up shop to the new base here. Um, so... I could actually go through here now, but, um, that's dangerous, and I don't like danger. I'm a really, really kind of overly cautious person, to be honest, especially on Minecraft. Oh, nope, not dealing with that. Okay, okay, let's get out of there before I die an unnecessary death. Okay, in any case... I think I like this area, but um, I'm going to cut here and actually go a little bit further in the southwest direction to see if I can find anything that possibly could be better, but I have marked this with possible home, and I'll be back momentarily, guys. Alright, um, here's another possible home. This one is even further away from spawn. Let me just, I'm getting a little bit of frame rate right here because I'm actually I actually have a music player open in the background I think that is the reason why I'm getting r weird frame rate jumps if I press F3 check it out now that I'm trying to show you it's not oh see how it goes up to like 30 up to 40s and yeah it, yeah I think it's because I have a music player in the background it's off right now uh, or I mean it's paused but if I were to exit the music player I'd probably get I'd probably my frame rate would stop being stupid or it could also be because it's exploring new terrain, and exploring new terrain is always lacking. In any case, uh, it's another roguelike. Um, this one is, it's almost 2,000 blocks, might as well just say 2,000 blocks away from my possible home, and 3,500 blocks away from spawn, which is a stupidly far away. Um, what's nice about this one is it's actually in, uh, oh, I thought this biome was called the Lavender Biome? It's Heathland. But this is where you can get there's <sighs> jacaranda, jacaranda trees. Uh, I the only thing I know about those trees is I believe that must said that they're Australian trees, <laughs> but they're they're really pretty color. Um, they're purple. Uh, nope. I just t um had a an internal Java exception, and it crashed. Uh, <laughs> so in any case, guys, there's this one right here. Nice little scenery, and there's like a little mountain off in the distance um i think i may have to actually do i think the reason why i'm getting all this lag is actually server side i don't think it's a uh, client side and it is expected to be honest because i did travel out a lot and the more you explore when you're exploring on modded minecraft especially you lag a lot uh, okay out of curiosity can i make clay Okay, sledge boiler. Okay, magic crops can make clay. Okay, good. In any case, guys, um, I like this area right here because it's nice, big, and open. But I like the idea of using the roguelike in the middle of the ocean. So I'm gonna keep this waypoint here. Um, and I'm actually gonna change it from possible home. 
to uh, roguelike. Totally how you spell roguelike. And I'm going to turn it off. That's also oh, okay. And then I'm going to go to the possible home and well, actually, I'm going to go back home to my initial spawn home and get some shenanigans together to start moving to the new place. And also, there's a couple of things that I kind of wanted to wrap up at spawn. For example, um, I want to put my advanced enchantment table. I actually want to put that at spawn so everybody could use, so it's available for everybody to use. And I also wanted to put. Ooh. Hold the phone. Go away. Okay. Nope. There we go. Uh, anything good in here? Mega rubber wood saplings. Good. I don't care about that. Don't ever use those. So nice. Oh, I'll take that though. And I'll take that just because. Brilliant. Okay. What was I doing? Ah, yes. I got distracted. Sorry about that. Uh, oop, black sheep. Uh, <laughs> so, what I'm going to wrap up here is I'm actually going to need to make a bunch of mana tablets. Because I think I'm going to move my mana setup from base. From spawn. That way, um... Because my mana setup is fairly FPS laggy. Now, I don't want to cause people at spawn... A whole lot of lag. They're already going to get FPS lag because of the smeltery, and I don't want to contribute to more of the lag. You know what I mean? So um, I'm actually going to wait. How far is that away? Oh bloody hell! That's like oh my gosh, that's really far. In any case, I don't want to contribute to a lot more of the lag. If you know what I mean. Um, as far as uh, making the shenanigans, and by shenanigans I mean ooh, floating island. Uh. More of the FPS laggings. I'm going to remove most of my stuff. Um, a couple of things I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the XP berry auto farm, or at least I'm going to leave half of the XP berries there and take half of them with me. Okay. This is going to be the new home. So let me just. I realized that I didn't even need to come all the way back here to do this. I could have just went to. Edit new home base. Um, I kind of like I wanted to get um this done with like finding the new base, but I didn't want to get there without flight. So that's why I had to get these wings, which look pretty cool. I usually go with the invisible wings, but if I I didn't feel like uh, making glass just to make these wings. So I decided I had leather, I might as well uh, make the dragon wings because they are, in my opinion, the coolest looking ones. But um, anyways, I'm going to actually get back home. I'm going to kind of pack up everything and I'll see you back here. And by the way, before I pack up everything, I think I'm actually going to um, get everything ready to actually make some Terra Steel and then um, I'll hop back in then. So you guys can at least see one of the Terra Steel makings, and I'll show you that I, because I don't usually show a lot of crafting on cam, and the only thing I'm going to be showing on cam is actually just uh, a little bit of the crafting, you know. Um, and the reason for that is because crafting is very tedious, um, and I'll show some of the difficult crafting, such as uh, the wings, like I did, and I'll also show you a little bit of the. Um, blah, 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 blah. the Terra Steel, I'll show you like the first one of that because it is a little expensive and it's mainly just to show you that I actually have the resources to craft it instead of we wondering how did I get those things oh I'm already home how about that apparently blathering on about blathering on we'll get you home fast okay then I was not expecting that but what I was thinking of that, about doing is making some dollies and just packing everything I want to take with me to the new place into a chest and picking up with a dolly. Um, but, like, since I'm here before I cut, I'll actually show you. I have, uh, 12... Oh, well, that was a good guess. I have 12 mana tablets here. And then there's, uh, in each mana tablet, 
is a half a mana pool, which is what you need to make a Terra Steel ingot. Um, and so that's two more. So 12 is 24. That's enough to make the full set of armor. 26, 28, 30, 32. Which it should be more than enough to make everything for like the um, portal that I'll find and everything. But before I do that, I'm actually going to cut off my um, mana production. Because I don't want to be constantly producing this as I'm trying to empty out these mana pools, you know? So, I'm going to get everything all packed up and I will meet you guys back here when I'm ready to make the tear steel. And maybe I'll actually exit out of the VLC media player so um, it's not frame rate laggy. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Hmm? Alright, talk to you guys in a moment. I had to grow a bunch of ender pearls. Um, and. Because I realized I had everything I needed to make these except for the ender pearls. And yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. So here's how you make it. Let me make sure I don't have my magnet on. In fact, I don't even know if I even made a magnet. It doesn't look like I did. Um, as you can see, my inventory is a mess right now. I apologize for that. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, it's, it's amazing what a little a little watering can and magical crops can do, eh? So let's go ahead. This is how you make a Terra Steel. Bam, bam, bam. And you... Son of a cuss word. Okay, let's... Go, actually, let's go like this. Bam, bam, bam. There you go. Check that out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't want to get close enough that I can actually pick them up, but check that out. It's awesome. Everything is awesome. It is doing it. It is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Terra Steel. And I'm going to get an achievement, I think, for picking that up. Yes. Now, what that can be used for is plenty of things, as you can see. Excuse me. Um, I can make the armor. I need 24 ingots to make the full set. Uh, I don't know if I want to make the Terra Shatterer quite yet. Uh, to be honest. Ooh, I should probably make the Terra... I'm going to say four... Okay, so I can make the full set of armor... And then the remaining four, I'm going to save for seeds. Alright. So I'm going to make those up real quick, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a little grindy. It's probably going to take me a better part of, like, at least a half an hour to do this. But, check this out. Oh, it's just under a half, so I'm going to have to figure something out. But um, I'll be back. Be back in some moments. Ah, <laughs> Okay. Um, I made everything except for the pants. I kind of miscalculated on how much mana I had. So I made, I upgraded the band of aura, which as you see right here, it's, it's just a band. Oh, that's metal mana. It's just a band of aura with the terra steel ingot. And then the same with the band of mana. Um, I was actually having issues with the greater band of mana. Apparently it has to be, the regular band of mana has to be completely empty. In other words, it will not work. And I'm using the rest of these to make Terra Steel Seeds. And what I'm going to do is... Um, let me think. Uh, crap. Okay, that works. Uh, I need 9 times 7, 54. What? Was that good math? Or was that bad math? That was bad math. I need 63, almost a full stack of, um, I don't know why that was bad, in any case. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, actually, let's go ahead and turn that back on. Uh, got plenty of diamonds for right now, and same with iron. Let's go ahead and put this terra steel like a so. Whoa, weird. Uh, you see how the upgrade slot changes colors? That's weird. So I'm going to go turn consume stack on now. So basically when those are empty, it will grow terrace steel. And then what I'm going to do... Is 
is I'm going to sit here like a so with my watering can like I have been for the last two hours. Sometimes I come over here for a little bit of change of scenery. Sometimes I come over here for a little bit of change of scenery. Ouch, ouch. Sometimes I come over here for a little bit of change of scenery. Ouch, ouch. But most of the times I just kind of stay up here. Now just sit here and hold it, listen to music in the background until they're all grown. Alrighty then. Oh well, I got not a single one of these yet. Terra Steel Crop right there, that's going to give me my first one. Any second now. Any moment now. Yeah, my first Terra Steel Crop. Ta da! Okay, guys, I will meet you guys back in 18 million hours. I need to make, uh, basically. I need to make a. I, I need to make. I need to grow a full stack of terra steel crap to make enough terra steel to make my pants. And uh, to make the terra blade, T E R R A blade, blade. Uh, okay. So, so I need a stack plus seventeen. So this is gonna be fun. I'll see you guys in a few moments. <laughs> Uh. All right, wait for it. Ah, there we go. I think that would be it. Yes, 64 plus 17. That took absolute ages. I really, really wish. All right. If you're wondering why, uh, okay, yeah. Ah, ah, okay. In any case, guys. These did not grow naturally. I actually placed them there. I'll show you why. Hmm. Okay. I thought this was a thing. I thought this grew flowers. Or, okay. Anyways, I placed all those flowers there so that wouldn't happen. You know? But apparently, it's... The regular watering can doesn't grow flowers or grass blocks. Alright, I got... Let's go inside and actually make these terra steel ingots and get my pants up and going. Get my pants on! Yes. There we go. Bam. And then that's enough for the sword. Um, let's make the pants first, actually, before I forget. And before I make pants, I had to double check to make sure it was pants I needed. Alright, let's get some uh, shenanigans at uh, this stuff right here. Oh, what? Nope. Regular living wood. Bam. I think that's all I need is just one. Then come over here, put this here, and... <gasps> Terra Blade! Awesome! Remote Paranoia! Check this thing out. Isn't that thing cool? And on top of that, it has like, a, I was going to say an attack damage of 8, but I thought it was 8, but it's 7 apparently. So, there you go. I now have terror armor. Yes. Okay. Um, and I have plenty of uh, magical crops. That's one of the things I'll be packing up because I know this is just a little 3x3 three three plot. Um, and I believe, let's go ahead and uh, mine factory reloaded. Uh, I think... Is, is the emerald the best one? Yes, I think so. Okay, that increases the radius by 11. The default is 3, so 3 plus 11 is 14. That means it's a 14 by 14 square. Rather, 11 times 2 is 22 plus 1, 2, 3, 25. It's a 25 by 25 square. Um, at least I think that's how it goes, because it says radius, so that's... Unless the guy who made Mine Factory retar um, Reloaded is just re retarded and meant to put um, diameter increase. But I'm pretty sure it makes it a 25 by 25 square that this covers. And if I make one for the planter as well, um, I plan on having... Yes. I don't think I'm going to use the full size though. Weird. I don't think I'm going to use the full size. I think I'm going to make it where there's basically 3 by 3... Um, uh, let me press that. There's... 
how the squares go. Uh, yeah, never plant those things, by the way. You'd be dumb. In any case, uh, I think what I'm going to do is... Um, let me just kind of show you how I have this. Uh, actually, let's pop this in here. Bam. Okay. Alright. Uh, let me just show you how I have this real quick. Do I have dirt? I thought I didn't. I did, but apparently I don't. Alright. Uh, let's go in here. And see how these like this, right? I want each of these colors to be a 3x3 three three section. So it would be a 9x9 nine nine all together. Or I could even have it where it's 16 by 16, where each of these is, oh, well, that's bad, a 12 by 12, where each of these is a, a 4 by 4 section. If I did that math right, 4 times, yeah, okay, a 4 by 12 section, a 4 by 4 section, and just that way, uh, I, I, I'd like to do that. That would be a good idea, I think. Um, uh, let's go down and actually... I'm not going to be able to, apparently I'm, I'm not going to be able to move on today, guys, because I'm actually kind of right there at the end of my recording time, and my throat is starting to kill me really bad, so even though I know I didn't really do a whole lot on cam, yeah, I, as you can see, I got a lot of stuff to pack up, I got to pack up most of this, I think I'm just going to leave this right here, that way if, um, if there's anyone around here, or no, I said I was going to delete it, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, I may take it down, I may leave it. It just depends on if I feel like making more flowers when I get to the new place. Because, um... <clears throat> pardon me. Yeah, um... So, I got this bad boy right here. This will actually make fighting a wither a lot easier. So will this bow and this armor. Which is, what I'm actually going to do next is actually enchant this armor. And... I got plenty of um, essence berries. The plus side about that is, even though the um, watering can wasn't pointed directly at these, these seem to have grown faster, and there's a crap ton in here. See, my whole inventory is full of them, there's plenty more in there. So, I got plenty of levels, and on top of that, there is... Uh, 161,000, that's about 5 level 30 enchants. So, in any case, guys, I believe that's all we're going to have time for today. That was my toenail cracking you just heard because I just kicked the desk because I'm a fool. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like rating. I do apologize for the kind of weak way I was sick. I still am a little sick, but I'm well enough that I can start recording again. Um, yeah, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did a lot of progress today. Um, I, I really like progressing in the game. That's really fun. It makes the game more fun instead of just like, ugh, grindy. Although I did do a lot of grindy off cam work today. I apologize for that if you guys actually enjoy the grindiness. But in that case, I guess you can't really make everyone happy. But share this video with your friends. Smack that like button if you liked it. And also subscribe to keep updated with my latest videos. I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, this has been Rocky AK Ben. And talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.